Minneapolis will keep its police department, but what happens next? Community members, some of them, are plotting a course forward and they're bringing the police and the police union to the table as well. Shayla Reeves joins us with a plan that at least one group is putting forward. Shayla? Hey, good morning to you, Jason. This plan targets five key areas. Those include transparency, accountability, reform, as well as consequences, both with MPD and the community. The Unity in Community Mediation Team presented a draft of a historic memorandum of an agreement between the team and the Minneapolis Police Department. It includes more than 70 action items to work through to see what goes and what stays and what becomes the final draft. What's different this time as both the police department and the police union are participating in this conversation about reform. Which talks about a police community relations council that has teeth, uh, mental and behavioral health and disability issues, diversity on the workforce, cultural awareness and sensitivity, uh, the duty of care in the Minneapolis Police Department. We all have this common goal, right? We, we want the best officers in the state. We want to have a, a department that's trusted, that um, the community wants to, to be policing in their community. Another key part of this conversation, of course, is transformation. That's another area that they're focused on. And the goal and the hope is to include some of the 44% of voters who were wanting to get rid of the Minneapolis Police Department and replace it with the Department of Public Safety in this conversation. So uh, moving forward, the hope is uh, to have them on board. We know that a draft of this was presented to the Public Safety Commissioner, the police chief, as well as the head of the police union. Jason. New city council, a lot of new people at the table. This is one of many, many plans that I'm sure we'll be talking about in the coming days, weeks, and months. Shayla, thank you.